Uh, hello there people, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So it is Cobra part 13, um, Axis turn 12. And you know, forget the reception, I wanna do an LP. <laughs> no, no, um, only kidding, uh, but it's still afternoon and the reception is at 9 in the evening, so... I thought I might as well do, you know, a video now, um, so as not to keep you waiting, and also I'm interested how this battle will continue. Uh, but one word of advice to you, um, I was doing, you know, sit-ups, uh, just, you know, to get in some shape before the reception and everything. Don't do sit-ups and think about the girls you're, go you're going to meet uh, at the reception at the same time, you know? I almost took my eye out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably an old joke, old joke, but I like it. So, okay, now let's get serious. Um, if you have read what Stephs and I were discussing in the comments of the previous video, we have a sort of a situation. The Americans are retreating and uh, uh, JP elephants and tigers, tiger tooths um, are not fast enough, you know, to catch them. And here, you know, for example, this Panther D is basically out of everything and when we give it replacements, you know, it because of the proximity of two units, it will be a pretty shitty result. And with the weather fair and dry... Uh, sorry, um, my internet connection failed. Give me a second, please. Uh, okay, I'm back. Um, it happens sometimes, sorry. Uh, what I wanted to say was, with the weather fair and dry, um, and <coughs> most of the enemy fighters excellent against ground targets like this lightnings this lightning this one also sure there are more in the area also this t-bolt even though i hate to do it but it is time you know to bring one of our fighters into action to draw the attention of probably two to three American fighters and it can be a death sentence for our fighter definitely but you know um, otherwise we'll be in some deep shit because Panthers even though strong tanks are no match for being attacked you know from the skies with high quality units and also by American armor which is getting pretty close but first as a minor thingy a uh, sort of a side quest we see here an American infantry in a transport if we attack it with our recon it should go our way but we need to destroy it um, so one fighter we will use to attack this transport hopefully do a lot of damage wow wonderful went much better than expected and our fighter is still close you know to intervene when this fighter will get attacked and yeah it will happen now we will destroy uh, this infantry and then scout this is probably the infantry that was, you know, um, bothering us by not moving <laughs> from this place for a long time, not advancing either east or west. We'll never know for sure, but since it is, you know, uh, so far away from other American units, this is probably uh, the one. So now we'll destroy it, hopefully. Excellent, and we scout. One, two, three, four. So far we can see. 
nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Again, nothing. I'm expecting this city to be empty, but you know, you have to be careful. Again, nothing, so we'll take over this non victory objective. Do we see anything now? No. No. So, Americans are not close. Good for this record, most definitely. <coughs> now, to the south. Here we have purchased the Reckon and now we will put it to some good use. Has a spotting of 4 and the Americans could have taken either of these routes. But most likely both, you know, so because there are plenty of them. So now it is safe to move here. So now we'll see where they are, if any of the American units are in range. Okay, we see this pretty nasty tank and a light one okay so we can reach the light one and we will die Ah, another light tank, but no, we are not in range and we should probably save this Panther G for this tank. But this would be a tough bat uh, battle actually, because ground defense of 18, same ground defense, better heart attack, definitely, but you know, this tank has two stars of experience while, while our Panther G has zero. So, okay. First, we destroy this light tank. Yeah. Okay, probably time to save, yeah. So it's Cobra uh, zero 015. <coughs> this went well so far. Uh, now, whatever we do, we cannot scout far enough to see what is behind here in a non-victory objective of Ren. So we might as well send our tiger to here. So both sides are balanced or maybe not. Um, perhaps first we should check what we can see. This spot is still safe, and if we get, you know, a better target, or perhaps if we get a heavy artillery here, then we'll know not to attack this tank. Ah, um, uh, yeah, yeah. So this spot is safe. Ah, okay. A light tank. See the results: one four. Not very good and even though you know now uh, these hexes are also um, lighted you know more more bright I'm not sure how to say it I'm not sure what is actually hiding in the city of Ren if anything so the odds are bad enough now if there is a heavy artillery inside I don't want to risk it so we'll attack the light tank instead you know even if the light one is supported by something it should still go our, our way <coughs> D4 
didn't go very well. A typhoon. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Uh, yeah. And with this um, Act Panther already damaged, I'm not sure if I want to go under the Typhoon because of the possibility of a double attack. So even though it is tempting to take over the airfield, let us save just in case. I'm, I don't want to trigger any units nearby, I just want to check the odds. This is allowed, you know, otherwise you need to use the tables for calculation and, you know, I'm not in the mood to do it. Uh, so, Cobra 015, what happens if we bring our Yacht Panther here? 05, too bad, this Panther didn't do a better job. 2-2, two, two. huh. No, I want to press, you know, on, press forward, whatever, whatever, but... And yeah, um, before I continue, it is highly likely, I'm almost even sure that it will happen, we will lose some of our heavies, um, because the enemy has so many aircraft that are good against armor, you know, so... Um, we will not finish this without losses, I'm almost 100% sure. But you know, we have to advance, we have to press forward to relieve our Panthers in the north as soon as possible. So now we'll attack this light tank again. But not from the airfield, but from here. Come on. Shit, bad luck. But it happens. We have forced it to retreat, which is good because now the enemy will have to, you know, give it replacements. But this Yak Panther is now in some serious trouble. Thankfully, we have units to back uh, this left part of our advance to back them up. So, JP Elephant coming closer, or also this Tiger too. As for this JP Elephant, um, I'm tempted to leave it behind, you know. But, if I'm not, you know, if I did not become a total, you know, moron, <laughs> or <laughs> in... <sighs> not competent, you know, player, I don't think there could be, you know, more enemy units now. Hmm. I'm not sure, really. But what happens? Nah, I don't know. Perhaps we should stay close. I'll think about it later. Um, now let us move here to the north. Here we will bring this air defense closer. Uh, this artillery here. And this one here, you will see why. Because I want them both protected, you know, by uh, our air defense. And the primary target here is the Spitfire, even though Mosquito has three stars of experience, but it is easier to destroy this Spitfire, and we will. Come on. Very nice. Now, the only question remains... Now, do we play it safely, or do we bring in our fighter? And I think that it is probably best actually to place our fighter here. We still have 
air defense is in the area also anti-aircraft will move closer and perhaps also this level bomber will attack first and then will intercept it so come on destroy this speed yes another fighter gun now huh. yeah okay now we bring our JP elephant here artillery here this air defense closer most definitely and the rest of them too but first perhaps we should think about what to do with our naval warfare to make room you know for the air defenses What if we... Ah, uh, this... Air defense has only one ammo, so... We will not be able to use it for... A, you know, for... Continuous attacks. One strike, then it's out, so... Okay... How about this? Imps go here... Naval warfare here... Air defense closer. This air defense actually has a transport and it will be supported by two other air defenses, so we also bring it very close. U2. I think one. Uh, wasn't there? Wasn't, oh. I thought there. Ah, uh, okay, this air defense also has a transport, but it is in a good position, so. Don't think I screwed this up. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, now we'll save it, and then I will have to decide whether or not to bring the fighter close to uh, this level bomber. We have plenty of air defenses in the area. We'll have to bring it here if we want to bring it closer, so yeah, so it is covered by as many air defenses as possible. Also we'll bring air anti-aircraft closer. Probably here. Yeah, but okay. Time to save and now um, then a little pause because I have to think about it. Cobra 015. Uh be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um before I continue, I have seen uh, some new uh, viewers commenting uh, welcome you know, the, to this LP. I will probably reply to you tomorrow. I've read your comments. I'm very happy you're watching this, but I'm you know very short on time today. Um, so you know, uh, no disrespect, of course. You know, just. Um, but I'm but, but I'm always happy, you know. And uh, this one, uh, this one guy told me, told us actually commenting that uh, he has started with Panzer General, uh, like you know now, today or yesterday or whatever. And I'm so happy, you know. Yeah, and I agree. I agree with you. This is probably the most evergreen uh, computer game uh, ever created, uh, even after you know. Wow. 94 I think it was great. So yeah, almost 20 years later and it is still playable. Um, so yeah, um, enjoy it, you know. I, I, I kind of envy you because uh, I had so much fun starting it. Um, 
fighting, you know, Poland, and then <laughs> got totally surprised by the complexity of Norway um, in the campaign, you know. So okay, but uh, back to the game. Um, first, we'll deal with things that we can, you know, deal with. <laughs> strange sentence but it is the case here because first I want to find out how much prestige we will have after certain attacks so now we'll attack um, this American tank <coughs> it should go our way <laughs> more bad luck but But the unit died, so no biggie. Uh, our Tiger 2 is again out of fuel and ammo because of the fucking, sorry, but they are not freaking, they are fucking level bombers. <laughs> so we'll give it fuel and ammo. Hmm, we can actually place this unit in an air transport. Really? <laughs> it could be a tempting target also for the fighters. Not sure just yet, but I didn't notice it, you know, before when I was studying the battlefield. Interesting. Now we send what we have south and try, you know, to encircle the Americans. This Nashhorn has only one ammo left, but still will use it. As long as it can, you know, move and shoot, use it. <laughs> so, acquiring target, this inf will not attack uh, the US engineers in a forest, you know. Um, way too risky. Let them come out first. So, <coughs> we go here and attack. Very good. This means we can finish off this inf most likely with our Reckon. And this is exactly what we'll do. Just let me check something. One, two, three, four, five. What? Shit. Ah, yeah, too bad then. Uh, this tank we give a little replacements to. Um, probably, but let us wait for a while. Uh, okay, so we attack. Yeah, it should sh uh, it should still work. Uh, we attack this inf and most likely destroy it. Now we also see plenty, you know, non-victory objectives and airfields. Die. And it's dead now. Uh, now we attack this inf, but we do not want to push it here because it will be protected by this pretty decent artillery. We'll attack it from here. Die. <laughs> it has retreated. Very well. Four, five, six. So yeah, this tank can only reach the suburbs of the city of Fougere and the airfield. So we can send it here to finish off this inf. And 
now for the big question. Do we take over a non-victory objective or do we actually attack this artillery? Let us save just in case. Cobra 0, 015. If we attack, 0, 2. Really nothing special. Oh, yeah. If we go for the airfield, please note where our heavies already are, so Americans are also very close. Mm -hmm. Spotting of one. <laughs> it's not such a bad idea, actually. To send our Reckon, even though this is this one is further away, but we send it here to take over this non-victory objective, if it is empty, of course. And there is only one way to find out. First we'll have to check what is hiding here, if anything. Ah, uh, yeah. We can place our inf here. But then it will probably be attacked by these US engineers. But do we actually care, you know? Because, um, yeah, because <laughs> we care, we do care, because engineers will be then in Bokash, restricted terrain, and. Hmm. But since we have no better use for this inf, we can use it for scouting. Yeah, sure, why not? Empty! And now that we know this hex is empty, we can actually take back th this move. Okay. The game allows it, so... It's not cheating then. Um. Mm. We need to give elite replacements to this tank immediately. Since you can see, we have a bit of a situation. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. This is one strange thing about Panzer General. You, you can never be really sure which route the, the unit will take, you know? Even if you would like to, to know to go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if it, this hex was empty, it could just go here, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, hmm. But wha one way or another we have to bring our anti-tank gun closer to help to deal with the American anti-tank guns, so... Yeah, this is more important than taking non-victory objectives here, so, or attacking the uh, this artillery. So, okay, uh, we can see all the way to here, so we'll bring our Reckon closer. Everything is fine. City is empty, we'll take it over. Very good, and... As said, we bring also our anti-tank in a transport closer. So, with some luck, and if the AI is dumb enough to attack, the victory objective of Karantan will be ours on the next turn, and then only one victory objective remains, Sherburg. Quite a long way to it, through some bad terrain, but you know what I mean. Uh, as for this inf, I'm really not sure. Perhaps for the time being we can just give fuel and ammo to this unit, so it is, you know, in good... Ah, first we give elite replacements to this tank. Didn't do much, you know, because of the two units in a close proximity. But we have fuel of five, so we can at least move away. 
on the next turn. Uh, this inf will stay where it is. And yeah, our fighter goes here. The enemy will attack. But we'll have plenty of units to deal with all the fighters that come close. So, and we will not attack. I don't want to risk anything. Anti-aircraft come closer to assist. Ah, guarding units, nothing for you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Here. Even though I would like to chase the enemy also with the, the JP Elephant, I actually do not dare. So, we'll bring it. No, I don't want to risk it. Um, we'll bring uh, JP Elephant here. Guarding duties. Yeah. Okay. One inf, another inf, yet another one. So I guess we can... Yeah, we can give uh, some replacements to the infs. And maybe purchase another anti-aircraft or no, we are don't we don't have enough prestige to purchase an air defense. But anti-aircraft we can. You see air defense is way too expensive. Anti-aircraft is not. We'll take the best one. This is the one. Now I think we should place it, you know, close to our armor. In the area since this fighter is pretty well supported already and somebody will attack one of our armored units here so mm. just let me check for the spotting T-Bolt has four, one, two, three, four so no matter where we place our anti-aircraft we will be seen perhaps here we would not no, one, two, three, yeah same shit everywhere, so... But we can place it here to prevent... I'm not sure how Bukash is treated. I think it takes four of the movement of the unit. But with the transporter with the movement of eight, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, says it won't work, but... I don't know. One, two, three, four. Well, okay, perhaps if nobody attacks our armor, perhaps we will be able to attack units that attack an, um, artilleries or this air defense or whatever. So, anti aircraft. Uh, sorry, I'm taking so much time, you know, think, but other, other, you know, this option or the pause. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, move here. Okay, 45 prestige remaining. You just get uh, fuel and ammo. Perhaps we will use you later for, you know, for additional bait if uh, we lose the air war. And you, since you are the only one now guarding the non-victory objective of Argentan, perhaps we can give you elite replacements. Even though now we see pretty much everything, but you know, I don't want to lose uh, uh, <laughs> the city of Argentan. It served us so well, you know. This was our base when we were in s such, you know, deep trouble uh, in the beginning. I'm emotionally attached to it, so you get a lead. Okay, three of prestige remaining. Now we save the game. Cobra 015. 
weather for tomorrow fair and dry casualties we did even more damage of course uh, now we have also one level bomber destroyed from the previous video and you know we are destroying infantry like crazy also tanks um, one additional fighter yeah going our way uh, now for one last pause and then we give the enemy its turn and finish the video and then I will have to go you know to the bathroom and put on my makeup and everything and <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, be right back uh, yo I'm back uh, so weather fair and dry casualties okay um, map this is ground map this is air map so in the ground we are definitely winning in the air it is still not over and we might as lose a fighter one more fighter uh, but you know even if we lose uh, the air war in the end um, we are way too close you know to the last two victory objectives um, okay <coughs> uh, give me your best shot did we save uh, sorry <laughs> save cobra uh, 0 15 allied turn no did we move everything sorry yeah we did <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay now end okay he went for panzer 4j this is bad now because the weather is fair ouch bastard and for panther a why don't you attack my fighter you bastard Okay, we did some minor damage, but now I'm afraid. Ah. Okay, excellent! Interceptors! Up yours! Ouch! Ugh. And another Panther A is under attack. This time by a Typhoon. This is not looking good. Okay. More strategic bombing. So, halfway through. I'm very happy that this t ball did not attack and now it's ours also this lightning is ours this mosquito maybe here we have a situation definitely engineers have moved to the bukaj we will not follow them but here is bad says it will go our way but you know with both panther ace at the strength of seven not very happy about it uh, but this makes me happy actually the enemy has decided to make a stand and now we'll just encircle these four units and destroy them most definitely I'm happy that I kept JP Elephant here since it seems that <laughs> the enemy uh, has an idea, you know, to just <laughs> try to rush Nant again. Uh, huh. Reckon will start taking back non victory objectives if possible. Uh, what else? 
Tiger 2, again operational, very good, but still too far from the enemies, not so good. <laughs> But I believe in the next turn we will destroy one fighter, another one, probably this mosquito as well, uh, a level bomber. Yeah, perhaps. And here we'll attack at least one of uh, these two units, probably Typhoon, and finish it off with our fighter. So yeah. Weather, fair and dry, casualties are the same. Now I will save the game, Cobra 015. By the time uh, uh, this video is uploaded, you know, I will be either, you know, drunk and alone or a little bit less drunk and, you know, in a company. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck, my friends. Um. <laughs> okay, um, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, all the best from Mr. Critic and bye-bye.